plastic trash, not plastic waste. Bottles used, then returned by lorry, by the thousand. More than half a billion are sold each year in Norway and almost all are recycled. It's because they have value. Every bottle has a deposit, the equivalent of 10p, returned to customers when they bring back their empties. It's not much, but it adds up. It can be a lot. It can be thousands of krona every year if you have a family. And also people are collecting in the streets, uh, when they go to the, the ocean or to the mountains, you take it, bring it back home and you give it here. Every shop that sells bottles has to collect the empties, sometimes by reverse vending machines that give back cash. Sometimes by manual bins. This cinema collects eight bags of bottles a week. It gets a small handling fee from the central recycling scheme and a refund for the deposits it returns to customers. It's just like culture for us. We have it like 30 years maybe. So uh, works brilliant. Collection trucks across Norway pick up the empties and return them for processing at one of three plants run by the organization Infinitum. A total of 22,000 tonnes of bottles pass through each year. The deposit ensures there's little contamination from other materials, a huge problem with curbside collections. 99% of these will be recycled. Plastic, when you make it from oil, then you use a lot of energy. If you collect the material, and when you collect it to a deposit system, uh, through a reverse vending machine, then you take care of the, um, the material, you keep it clean, actually through the value chain, and then you can use it, reuse it again and again. Just a small deposit can make a big difference. Here in Norway, 96% of plastic bottles are recycled. In the UK, it's less than 50%. 16 million bottles every day evade recycling. Many of those will go into landfill, but some will be washed out to sea. In Scotland, the government is considering a money-back scheme on plastic, just as a generation ago there was on glass. But drinks manufacturers, who support the deposit scheme in Norway, say it just won't work in the UK. And the investment has been done over a lot of years. So if you're going to do that overnight in Scotland, for instance, it will, of course, be very, very expensive. Somebody's got to do that work and, and somebody's got to pay for it. Okay, so this is trash collected on a beach on the west coast of Norway. For the last Worldwide, eight million tons of plastic end up in the oceans each year. It's eaten by wildlife and it's in our food chain. But in Norway, the deposit works. Surfers have seen the evidence pile up. Most bottles come from abroad. And so we have two Norwegian bottles and we have one, two, three... 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 non-Norwegian bottles. Where waste has value, there's less litter. People also understand the other aspect of it. You know that you're actually only borrowing the bottle. You're, you're buying the content, but you're borrowing the bottle and you have to give it back. Uh, because that's resources. Financial incentives can clean up the environment. Putting 5p on plastic bags reduced the number of being washed up on Britain's beaches by 40%. Small deposits on bottles could have a similar effect, keeping more plastic in the recycling loop and out of the ocean. Thomas Moore, Sky News in Oslo.